An effective way of empowering the people is by sharpening their vocation skills. After eight weeks rigorous training, the Orili Agege Local Council Development Area graduated youth and women empowered through vocational skills. In the last eight weeks, we have had a series of activities on catering and hospitality management, tailoring, shoemaking, and carrot craft and accessories, makeup and gele with four repair. We thank Almighty Allah for his mercies on us for aiming this part. So this graduation is unique in the history of this Okoba community or like a SCD. For so many reasons, the successful completion of this journey is the will of officially certified graduating students as order of various certificates. To so this event, it's also a worthy historical event in the sense that as part of the activities lineup for the ceremony, we have been able to gather in large number indigenous and progressive youth, able men and women of this community. To learn skills administration and be self-employed. Also to come together with the hope of giving back to a rebuilding of the community that has played major roles in their various fields of calling. Honorable Yinka Ogundimu, member of the Lagos State House of Assembly representing Agege Constituency 2, outlined the importance of vocational training in helping to solve problem of unemployment and making the people financially independent. He urged beneficiaries to put the skills into good use and spread the tides for others to benefit from it. It's a way of uh, teaching people how to, how to fish than giving them fish. The best thing you can do for womankind is to teach them how to use the work of their hands to earn income, that will be giving them income for doing nothing. So that's the way we can build the nation. And as an economist, you know, the productivity of the country, of the nation can increase if the GDP is increasing. The chairman of Aurelia Gege LCDE, Johnson Babatunde, advised the public not to shy away from job creation, adding that beneficiaries of this training should become employers of labor. I'm uh, highly impressed that if the councillor could think towards this, we are talking about self-reliance, we are talking about people doing something for themselves, that people should not be looking at government for employment, that people should be able to sustain themselves. I, I think it's a good idea in the right direction. Uh, we are highly impressed with what he has done, bringing people together, and uh, at the same time, just uh, equipping them for the future. And uh, I'm really impressed, and it's, uh, it's a food for thought for every one of us, that uh, we must not shy away from creating employment. Employment creation should not be left in the hands of the government. All of us should think right. We should look inwards and say, how can we move the economy forward? Beneficiaries were also given basic vocational tools for business startup. In appreciation, graduates promised to reproduce the acquired knowledge. I want to thank Honorable Brian Mobanla. She is good and she tried for us because I'm not determined to learn the makeup before, but when I went to that training, so I was determined now to learn it. I learned a lot. I learned to, as in, to meet a new people. I'm very, very happy. I, 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 was in, I can't even imagine it. I don't even know because I was even sitting down. The way they called my name, I was just like, ah, it's my name. So I was very, very happy and I, I, I appreciate him for everything he's done. Upperline is a very nice man, so the foundation that he laid down is a very good one because many people outside there are looking for this kind of opportunity which they can never find. Here yeah, day to day, they are the student, they find it, they are here today, see this kind of opportunity and I wish they shouldn't misuse it. They are young, uh, young uh, boys and girls. And Obala give them opportunity and I advise them for them to use the opportunity very well, for them not to misuse the opportunity because it's a very big chance. 
If they lost it, they may not be able to get it again. This is one of the things that Nigeria need. And if we are saying youth are the leaders of tomorrow, and the tomorrow starts today, and we're having youth in power, so that means doing this, he hasn't done wrong. He has done what, uh, what expected of him, what people, what our people are yearning for, and this is one of the things that will promote our economy. In line with the honourable judge's our today agenda, I will strictly advise our able youth to imbibe the spirit of formalities and to rebuild and to restore. Based on the mission, vision statement of the Honorable Judge Robert today, I want our people to remain steady and become and be collected. The Orili Agege residents are on their way to become self-reliant with the initiative.